Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Space uh, that's available. And now I am not where they're going, so don't even ask. Uh, but I have animals at all the major, major zoos in the U.S. Yeah, I know, bud. I'll let them know that you're testy and that you have allergies and uh, uh, need your uh, allergy medication on a regular basis. No, they don't have hypoallergenic substrate. Okay. Rhino Viper. And the symbol for Mars. It's for males. Okay, and uh, here you have your very own little cargo compartment. And, uh, hi Mr. Brown, hi Mr. Collette. They're all looking at me, as they usually are. Uh, let me uh, return here in a moment. Okay, we have the last little... Uh, a uh, cantankerous creature to put into a, a bin and oh you shed look at you how pretty how pretty huh isn't she beautiful beautiful little puff adder and you are a girl well maybe I'll have to see um, when in doubt you always compare uh, because sometimes it's hard to tell when you only have one to look at. Uh, Got to be careful with my fingers here at the edge of these uh, bins because uh, these guys can be quite acrobatic. You are definitely a boy. And I would imagine that you're a boy and you are. Okay. So, now, I think they'll really appreciate you. This is Puff Adder Plus. She is the wildest Puff Adder I've ever run across as far as uh, temperament. Aren't you? Huh? You are just a little maniac. So, I think the zoo is a very good place for you. What do you think, huh? Because I don't have space for you when you're three feet long and uh, ripping up me in the room. I know. I know. You want to be really pissed off? I'll give you a reason to be pissed off. Let me uh, give you a little bit of water. Here, you want a drink? You want a drink? You thirsty? Oh, you are thirsty. You are a good drinker. You are a good drinker. Okay, well let me uh, come a little closer here with the camera and so you can watch her drink because after this she won't be around anymore. She is a very good drinker. Hello. I know. You're looking for that uh, opportunity to bite me. I know. You want some more? 
Huh? You want some more? Here. Yeah. Want some more. Oh, she's such a good drinker. Look at that. You got the right idea. You got the right idea. Come on. But you really want out. You're going to drink and bite and scratch your way out of there, aren't you? Huh? You're a puff adder. You can handle dryness and not a whole lot of water. Huh? Yes, you can. You are cute, though. They are very adorable at this age, especially when they're feisty. That means that they have a very good chance of, uh, of surviving. It's, uh, you know, sort of like the APGAR score for, uh, for venomous snakes. You know, the APGAR score is uh, how the pe uh, a pediatrician neonatologist uh, assesses a newborn baby. And uh, the higher the APGAR score, the more viable the, uh, the baby is. Well, um, I find that exceptionally feisty... Uh, baby snakes are more apt to survive long term than the meek and uh, mild mannered ones that are just sort of afraid and just sort of, you know, cower in the corner. Hi, was that good? Huh? Want to do uh, puff adder cam? Huh? Oh, there we go. Puff adder cam. There we go. Hello. Say hello to the camera. Yeah, I know. Okay. Alright. You feel better now that you had a drink? Huh? You want some more? I'll give you some more. Everybody gets plenty to drink here at uh, the Viper Keeper's Lair. <laughs> Look at you. You're a funny snake. Maybe on second thought I will keep you. Huh? Yeah. Is that tasty? Is that tasty? Oh, very nice, huh? Very, very nice. Ah, you're getting close to that edge. Ready to escape, huh? Okay, folks, I gotta put the camera back up here because uh... I'll need the uh, other hand for maybe uh, uh, getting this thing under control here. Once more, last call at the bar. Last call. Okay, I'm putting the hook on you. Okay, all bets are off, buddy. Now you got me pissed. Oh, see? Whoa! There you go. Oh, not another one of these damn deli cups. That's right. You just uh, drink the rest of that moisture and uh, you'll be good. And I'm just going to shoot a little bit of water in here on the paper towel. Uh, just to keep the humidity high uh, overnight and um, let's see where is my electrical tape well you know all this uh, stuff in the room, I cannot find my electrical tape. Uh, therefore, we have duct tape. Not duct tape, duct, as an air duct. Uh, seal your air holes, huh? But let's not put our little fingers on those air holes uh, because I've seen uh, 
people bitten through air holes before and I don't want to show you how it's done. Oh, now you're strikey, huh? You're strikey. Good for you. Okay. <coughs> I haven't kept puff adders in so long. Do I have a puff adder sticker? I must. I must. Well, okay. What I'll do is I'll just steal it from you guys. I know you're hitting the lid. Don't waste your water. Okay, now... Now the deli cup... Gets secured. And that will be that, I think. can just uh, right there, right on top. Okay, now I promised you guys a uh, look. I made a styrofoam divider, so uh, no one is really touching one another because uh, uh, snakes can bite each other through the bags just as well as they can bite the handler. So that everybody gets separated. Everybody's double bagged. Uh, the cooler lid will go on to protect them a little bit uh, from the environment because it's still cool. Uh, the lid will be uh, screwed on and uh, delivered to uh, uh, Delta to uh, uh, fly them to wherever they're going. And with that said, uh, that'll be uh, it for this adventure.